Okay? What about the real contract? Real contract is perfected upon the delivery of the property. So, if you will recall, in your credit transactions, okay, what kind of a contract involves the obligation to deliver? Of course, in sale, there is an obligation to deliver. But as I've said, sale is an ordinary contract. It's a consensual contract. But if you're talking about comodatum, unless and until the property is actually delivered, there is no contract that is perfected. Now, what is an example of a comodatum? Have you ever entered into a contract of comodatum? Nako, kung hindi kayo nag-enter into a contract of comodatum, ibig sabihin hindi kayo nag-aaral. <laughs> Kasi hindi kayo nangihiram ng libro sa library. <laughs> Although it is, uh, the, the name is comodatum, you will not encounter a document wherein the title is comodatum. Diba? But if you will try to analyze comodatum, comodatum means what? Here is the bailor what, transferring possession of his property, which is a non-consumable property to the bailey, gratuitously for the bailey to make use of it. And the bailey has the obligation to deliver back the same property under the same condition that it was delivered to him. Now, given that definition, have you not realized that every time that you borrow the notes of your classmate, that is comodatum in civil law. Pahiram nga ng notes, iuwi ko muna, kukopyahin ko. If the examiner will ask you, what contract have you entered into? Nanghiram po ako ng notes. <laughs> but that single act of borrowing the notes, okay, gives rise to your obligation to return it. The same notes. So that is comodatum. Are you being charged by your classmate? Sinabi ba ng kaklase mo, o sige, pag isang araw, ang bayad, 50 pesos. Pag lumagpas ka, hindi mo sinoli bukas, panibagong 50 pesos. That is not any more comodatum. The moment that a consideration is involved, it ceases to be a comodatum, it becomes a lease contract. Kaya pag halimbawa sinabi ng kaklase mo, sige, ibibigay ko sa iyo yung notes ko. Iuwi mo bukas. Nangako. Sinabi mo, sige, magpirmahan tayo para baka mamaya makalimutan mo. So, nag-issue pa ng promissory note yung kaklase mo. I promise to give to you my notes tomorrow morning. The following day, walang notes. Was there a contract of comodatum perfected? No. Because comodatum is a real contract. Unless and until the notes are actually delivered, there is no comodatum that is perfected. Another example of a real contract. Another example of a real contract. Pledge. Not the pledge in the constitution, I pledge allegiance. <laughs> or not the floor wax. So you see, the meaning of pledge in civil law is entirely different. It is an accessory contract. It is a collateral wherein there is transfer of possession. So, if you are a fan of tambunting, or, sino pa, luwilier, <laughs> 
Lagi mo tinatawagan, lagi mo tinitext si Mrs. Tambunting at saka si Mr. Luwilier. O oh, ano ho, sasanla ko muna tong aking ano, cellphone o kaya itong civil code ko. <laughs> Aba, mahal ang libro natin, nasa totoo lang. <laughs> Di ba? O. Oh. Pwede bang halimbawa, mar- malaman ni Mrs. Tambunting o ni Luwilier na doon ka pala nagpunta sa kabila, pwede ka ba niya idemanda? Remember, in remedial law, text message is considered as what? It's an evidence. Pwede bang sabihin niya, Huy, hindi ka nag-ano sa promise mo, sinabi mo, sa akin mo isasanla yung civil code mo. but naalaman ko na na pala sa kapitbahay ko? Can you be sued for that? No. Because there is no perfected contract of pledge. Hanggat hindi mo ibinibigay ang civil code at hanggat hindi niya natitimba <laughs> at mabibigyan ng value, eto yon. there is no perfected pledge. Because pledge is a real contract. Deposit. Deposit is not the ordinary deposit that you do when you open an account. With a bank, that is not deposit, because deposit, as defined under our civil code, is for what? For safekeeping. And I think all of us have already entered into a contract of deposit, even if we do not like it. Especially if you want to go to malls. Diba? Misan nga, eh. <laughs> sa iba ka ng pintuan ng, mo, ng SM da, dadaan eh. Bakit? Kasi pag nakita ka ng gwardiya, oy, miss, i-ano mo muna yung, ano mo, bag mo doon, ayun no, sa baggage counter, necessary deposit. O hanggat hindi mo i-deliver, there is no perfected contract of deposit. It's a real contract. Solemn or formal contract, what makes it a solemn or formal contract is because there is a formal requirement according to the civil code or if not, according to a special law. And what are the examples of a formal or solemn contract. Yesterday, I made mention of a deed of donation of a real property. So, kung nangangako ang mga magulang nyo o ang sweetheart nyo, sabihin mo, sweetheart, para hindi tayo magkalimutan, isulat na natin. <laughs> Yun lang for your security, di ba? Malay mo, magka-amnesia. But, Of course, just to protect your interest. Because unless and until that donation of a real property is reduced into a public instrument, even if there is a meeting of the minds, even if it is verbal, even if you have witnesses at the time that your sweetheart told you, I'm giving you my condo in the fort when you pass the bar exam, Okay, the witnesses will not make the deed of donation valid because the civil code requires that for validity, the donation of a real property should be in a public instrument. The same requirement in the case of antichresis. The same requirement in the case of the sale of a large cattle. Although we will go to that later on when we discuss forms as an element for a valid contract. So class, do not forget this classification of contracts based on perfection. As a matter of fact, which I always do to my students in Oblicon, you know what? You can really summarize all contracts in one sheet of paper 
First, by identifying who are the parties. Second, how is it perfected? And then, what is the object, etc.? And I'll teach you to do that on Thursday after we're through with the discussion on the general provisions on contracts. Para at least mas madali sa inyo kaysa ang haba-haba ng binabasa ninyo, ang importante yung mga key points, alam nyo na. And the easiest way of doing that is by summarizing what you are reading. Okay? Another classification of contract is according to importance. And you have the principal contract and the accessory contract. A principal contract is a contract that it can exist by itself. An accessory contract is a contract whose existence is dependent upon a principal contract. That is why if the principal contract is void, it follows that the accessory contract will be void. But if the accessory contract will be void, it does not follow that the validity of the principal contract will be affected. Because the reason why it is principal, it can stand by itself. Have you ever encountered a contract of mortgage without any other contract attached to it? Cannot be possible. Because mortgage is an accessory contract. But have you ever encountered a contract of simple mutuum without any other contract attached to it? Yes, it's possible. Because simple mutuum is a principal contract. 